So yeah, so that you have a clinical observation period to do and you're not really sure what it entails. Like, what is the point of a clinical observation? What are my prerequisites for this clinical observation practicum period? And are there any tips? Like, is there anything I need to know before I do this? Well, I'm gonna give you all an idea of what to expect and what is the whole point of this whole scenario. Let's get into it. I'm in need of an X -ray. Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Donna from axeratic.com and I'll be helping you on your journey from the classroom to the extra room with ease. Now let's get into it. So what is the point of the clinical observation internship or practicum period within your program? One of the first things you're going to learn on this observation is what it takes to be a radiographer. In a hospital setting, in a smaller clinic, you're going to learn about the qualities and the characteristics that would make you a fully functioning or high functioning radiographer and why you are so vital and so important within, you know, the fraternity I guess of medicine within the hospital and your value and your role within the hospital. You'll also get to see how a typical day in the field is. Typically in radiography no two days are the same so you'll get to learn about how the department works generally. You'll get to see maybe what Mondays are like, Tuesdays might be auto, Wednesday might be XYZ, this clinic. You know, so you'll get to familiarize yourself with that hospital as well as likely with several other hospitals um, within the area wherever you're rostered to. And that's where you can get accustomed to, you know, what radiography is and how it works. You'll also learn about the risks and the packs. Risks has to do with registering your patient. Basically, it's like a Bible. Everything you need to know about the patient prior, the patient's history before that particular day, is going to be on your wrist. What they came in for, what case they end up doing, what were the results of the case in most cases in most cases, right? What history they had coming into the department a year ago, two years ago, last month, yesterday. You know, you'll get to figure out, okay, this person had this chest x-ray just yesterday though, why are they sending them back for another x-ray? Or okay so she had a pneumothorax or something and they're coming to check up on it or okay this person got a new um ict line or something 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 you know so you'll be learning about the importance of properly registering your patients on the risk system as well as you're going to learn about packs that has to do with picture archiving you know learning how the computer works familiarizing yourself with the inner workings of that knowing how to pull up patients old images and records and working to suit based on the needs of the department and of course it almost goes without saying but you're going to be getting a tour of the modalities with any department whether the x-ray or whether the clinic that you're at or small hospital that you're at has only x-ray and ultrasound or you go to a larger hospital that has x-ray ct mri nuclear med and all the works right you'll be kind of getting accustomed to the differences with each modality just on a basic introductory level and in that way too that kind of brings me to my next point you're gonna learn about what modality you yourself might be interested in in the future so every modality is different right yes x-ray uses x-rays radiation cc uses radiation as well but on a higher form a higher dose MRI is no radiation, but that's magnets, magnetization. Ultrasound is no radiation, but it's not magnets, it's sound waves, right? So you're gonna be familiarizing yourself with the differences and kind of getting an idea of what you might wanna do in the future, what you might wanna specialize in. Now, if you're interested in general and having a sneak peek idea into what modality might suit you best, I actually have a quiz on that. So do check out the quiz. I'll leave it in the description bar below. You'll see the link there. Also, you're gonna be learning about patients care and interacting with patients introducing yourself you'll be kind of basically seeing what the radiographer does and a lot of the times when you're on your clinical observations you will be assisting the radiographer whether it means that you're going to be handing them cassettes helping bring request forms 
They might even give you patients to register or ask you to interview the patient before the procedure actually starts to know, okay, so what brought you here to the imaging department today or what brought you to x-ray? What happened? How did you fall? You know, so you'll get accustomed to building that confidence where patient interaction is concerned as well as just get accustomed to the equipment in general. You're going to be familiarizing yourself with the x-ray room, knowing where the change room is, knowing the two. You cannot be learning the general limitations of the room. For example, you truly need to go in more because the based on how the, the room was wired, you know, the bucky or the tube or whatever, cannot come out all that way learning how far the table could move. You know, these, these simple things, learning the sink area, where they keep the leads, where they keep markers, if they have any at the site. You know, so you'll be familiarizing yourself with that. So that's basically everything in a nutshell on what to expect for clinical observations. Um, you'll be given your roster, you'll be given your clinical logbook, where you might have to generally log where you, I feel like I said generally so many times in, in this so far, but you're gonna be stating where you are rested and the time you are rested and you'll have a log sheet to hand in at the end of the period. And you'll have your specific hours to meet as well and they will let you know. So some schools are different. Your school might have you do the clinical observation before you even start the program because they might want you to get an idea of what radiography is. Maybe they don't want to have you thinking, okay, radiography is for me. That's it, I'm sold and I'm gonna get out there. You're like, oh, <laughs> what just happened? You know, you wanna be sure that this is what you wanna do. So some schools send you out there on an observation period. It might be a short period as well. Just so you could see how a day in the life of a radiographer goes. By the way, if you all want that video, let me know, <laughs> right? Um, however, in my case, I actually had to do a certain amount of courses first before I got to go onto the clinical site. And I have a list of the courses that I had to complete in my program in order to get onto the clinical observation or the first practicum period. And I'll read it out for you. So the first course is Introduction to Physical Principles, Physics, Basic Physics, Physics that you might have done in school like Refraction, Reflection. It's really simple, you know? Maybe they, they will throw in radiation, not radiation, but radiography physics, but nothing too crazy. You'll learn simple stuff like inverse square law, stuff like that. But it's more of a general physics program still. You'll also learn, well, another course, Introduction to Anatomy and Physiology with Medical Terminology. Oh, the physics course I mentioned for me was a four credit course. It was pretty heavy. Um, introduction to Anatomy and Physiology with Medical Terminology is also a four credit course because it entails labs as well as typical exams, papers, um, presentations, and stuff like that. You don't get away from that at all, right? Um, with anatomy and physiology with medical terminology, as the medical terminology part suggests, you're going to be familiarizing yourself now with terms that we use in the medical world, you know, um, basic, well, when it relates to radiography, anterior, posterior, proximal, distal, caudal, um, cephalad, whatever else, right, as well as you're gonna learn about the body, the general body systems. It's not gonna go like crazy in depth, but I mean, high school biology versus anatomy and physiology is different. You're learning the anatomy as well as you're learning how it works in a bit more detail. Also, fundamentals of writing. That was a three credit course. That's basically English, you know because they don't want you to be writing papers on the same level that you wrote it when you were in high school or secondary school. College algebra, and oh my gosh, that course was so much stress for me, but yeah, college algebra. Mathematical methods, which is more, more maths. You might just have one math course or two or three, depending. Communicate. Communication in the workplace. So college algebra, writing, and math methods were all three credit courses for me. Communication in the workplace has to do with getting to a more professional level in terms of how you communicate, how you bring your points across, you know, letter writing, formal writing, 
simple stuff nothing too crazy that was also a three credit course and then also fundamentals of radiological science and this is where you get the simpler concept of how x-rays work learning about the governmental organizational structure of an imaging department and hospitals in general like you know the hierarchy and just simple things about the department patient care that kind of thing the fundamentals the basics of the basics introduction to the study of society that sociology that was a three credit course radiological science fundamentals that was a four credit because with the fundamentals course that's when we were preparing to officially go to the clinical site for observation so that was four credit because that one extra credit was the internship part of it and fundamentals of research skills and how to properly cite your work doing research projects research papers and stuff so that you don't plagiarize basically so that's everything for what you need to know for your clinical observation period what to expect what is the point of it what are your prerequisites and now for one or two tips tip one is to take a lot of notes you don't want to go there be there for hours upon hours every day and not take notes like sometimes radiographers drop so much gems i have my clinical practicum book i even rewrote half of it when i got a new book that i wanted to organize better and that helped me a lot further on in the program when i finally came to do certain procedures it helped me out a lot because they usually give a lot of nice tips and helpful things little cheat cheat codes ways to figure out different examinations if you're unsure so i do recommend getting a good notebook so that you can write 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 people might think you're crazy if you're writing all the time of course you need to also focus and be in the moment but even if it means that you're writing after the day's work or maybe during your lunch break you take some notes i recommend taking notes learn your extra room that was one of the points that i actually had earlier in terms of the point of your clinical observation internship but yeah, like get familiar with your extra room, like know where they keep the cassettes, know how they store certain things. Be confident as well, like don't, don't feel like just because you haven't done the, the core work yet that that means that you, you're not, you don't deserve to be there. Like you got into the program, you deserve to be there, okay? So just try and be confident and take every day a step at a time. Like you have a road ahead of you, but you'll be fine, you know? So that's it for this video. It was fairly a long one, I find. I hope that you found all of this helpful. And I do hope that you subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. Get the word out there. Like, share this video with a friend that is in the program. Share it in your group of um, classmates and stuff, you know? Like, help each other. There's no need to gain such knowledge and not pass it on, right? At the end of the day, we all want to pass. We all want to be successful and we all want to be radiographers. I had work this morning and I have work tomorrow evening. Yes, we work shift hours, especially if you're working in a major hospital. So, I'm tired, but I got to get these videos out for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.